In general, economic development makes a better world for civilization because the enormous increase in productivity allows an unprecedentedly large number of people to have the opportunity to participate and share and enjoy the vast cultural heritage that we already have and in the creation of new ones. So uh, in that sense, uh, economic development is extremely beneficial for the development of civilization. However, there are a lot of other problems that are brought about by uh, economic development, such as inequality and other things. So, uh, but we have to address those, quest those problems in, on their own terms. I'm hoping that uh, the awarding of these prizes year after year would uh, uh, inspire people to think about this problem the same way that uh, we on the recommendation committee members um, are inspired to uh, uh, think about things uh, from the, uh, the root of the human activities, namely that uh, it is for the betterment of humankind and uh, uh, all of us are doing science or economics and so on, uh, they by themselves are really not the purpose by themselves, but usually we, lo we lose sight of that. And uh, uh, if, we, if everyone shares the common value of how to make a better world, then I think that it will solve a lot of the problems that are, seems to be unsolvable in today's world. I think the most important problems facing today's world is obviously poverty, inequality, and a dirty environment. However, uh, us, the development of science and technology and economic development uh, progresses. Uh, actually, further down in the world, we have uh, even more serious problems that we have to face with. For example, the replacement of uh, human labor by machines uh, is going to make a lot of people out of work. And I think that we haven't figured out how to solve this problem. And because the current structure certainly doesn't allow uh, the economic benefit to be distributed in a way that can uh, really uh, a, a make a stable world. So we have to think about this question. In the past, uh, all we are thinking about is how to make work more efficient, production more efficient, so that we can use as few people as possible in order to produce the, the, the kind of benefit uh, materially. However, I think the current economic structure that uh, you get paid for your work, I think that uh, this paradigm will run into very serious problems. And uh, besides, there's also the social stability problem that uh, if you don't have meaningful work to do, then I think the society will be terribly unstable. Uh, that's exactly what I mentioned, that you will not have a sense of belonging, you will not have a sense of purpose, and we have to address that question, but we haven't even begun to address it seriously now. I think that eventually we'll have only one person in control of all the capital and the, uh, we will have enormous uh, factories and everyone else will be uh, out of work. And, and I think that's a, it's certainly, it's something that's, uh, it's going to come. I don't know exactly how long, but um, uh, I think the, the present economic sheer pressure is going to make this happen. And uh, so at some point we have to stop it and, and uh, uh, we would like to have the best of both worlds, namely that we have the means for uh, uh, replacing the, the, uh, the tedious work uh, with machines. Uh, but however, we still would like to have uh, a way so that people can feel uh, satisfied and gratifying and have a reason to enjoy all the material goods. I think that we have to work on it. I think that uh, there are so immense number of problems uh, in today's world. I think that we have to start building a world 
so that we'll leave our future generation a sense of belonging and uh, a sense of purpose and uh, most importantly, a clean world where they can uh, build their future uh, the same way that we have been allowed and privileged to do so in our generation.